This video will discuss how my work aligns with AEC Standard 2 content pedagogy and will give insight into how my work is meaningful to my professional life and how it can benefit others in the future. Clark and Meyer describe e-learning as instruction delivered on a digital device to support learning. They talk about the biggest challenge in e-learning is to build lessons in ways that are compatible with human learning processes. In EdTech 513 Multimedia and with Clark and Meyer's book, E-Learning and the Science of Instruction, I learned so much about the cognitive theory of multimedia learning and how to make engaging presentations. According to the theory, humans can only process limited information at a time, and we have two separate channels for processing visual and audio material. Using this information, I created a presentation on the new Career and Technology Center in our school board. I developed it into a voice thread and put it into our LCMS as part of an information package about the new Career and Technology Center. On the following slides, you will notice I used the pedagogy learned in EdTech 513 Multimedia to create this presentation. I used both the multimedia principle of words and graphics rather than words alone, and the modality principle of using narration rather than words. You will notice there are very few written words in the presentation and the important information comes as a form of narration rather than written on the slides. As a comparison, look at the following slide. This is one I created in my first course, EdTech 501, Talk About Death by PowerPoint. My goal is to become a specialist in learning technologies in our school board upon completion of the MET program. It will be paramount to be able to make engaging, thoughtful presentations with the learner in mind. It is not enough just to bring technology into the classroom. In order for the learner to benefit, proper strategies must be put in place. EdTech 513, multimedia, and especially this artifact, have given me the ability and the content pedagogy to be able to create very good instruction materials that can be used in the classroom, a conference or in mentoring purposes. The benefits will be for all learners.